Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox, Synchro Space Program 1.8.1. In a previous video, I had discussed my three primary original space plane designs and asked people which one they would like me to release to commemorate reaching 20,000 subs on YouTube. Having done so, even though that was a tortuous process, <laughs> for the last 100 it took an extra long time it seemed. But anyway, uh, it seemed like people uh, wanted the Shinkansen spacecraft and you sort of couldn't have picked the worst choice, really, but uh, because it, it is the earliest one and it's, uh, it is complicated in many, many respects. I'll do what I can for you. I will give you the craft file. I will give you the KOS launch script because it is really hard to get this right otherwise. But yeah, it's still going to be a challenge. So uh, what, one thing I will not give you is the Shinkansen re-entry script. Uh, so you're going to have to figure out how to bring it back down again. That's not necessarily easy. It's especially not wonderfully balanced in roll. I don't suggest trying to roll it a whole lot. Be careful with that. So, um, yeah. Uh, but it is a fabulously complicated sort of system. I, I am in a very bare bones install right now. Uh, so this is basically my basic realism overhaul install. We don't even have Katniss Cape Canaveral or anything. And I'll just verify that everything works in this install. But let's uh, go through a reminder of the parts. So this is obviously the craft file as it is. Uh, one thing, uh, well, many things you will want to do is you should put an airlock in here. There is no hatch on the Shinkansen because uh, that would have been extra mass. So you have to put an airlock or some hatch. You are going to have to put some solar panels or fuel cells. There's no built-in fuel cell or batteries, uh, you know, uh, add, well, there is a built-in battery. What I mean is you should add some batteries uh, just in case. But yeah, that's primarily what I use the cargo bay for, incidentally. But the Shinkansen was designed such that uh, I wanted to make sure that as fuel drained, the balance would be realistic. And so the physical thing of it, of both sides, is just sort of a hollow shell. There's the Shinkansen shuttle with a cargo bay, that's the one on this side. And then there's the this old version, which I use for the carrier plane, with the old textures and no cargo bay. I mean, the main thing is there's no cargo bay on this one. Uh, so there's those things, but then there's the propellant tanks. These propellant tanks go in the back here. And uh, if we sort of highlight this one, you'll notice a node at the top right behind the cargo bay. That's the node that these propellant tanks attach to, and they just clip into the body. And then there's the forward RCS tanks. Uh, oh yes, they're sort of up there because they're in their position. Uh, so they're, they're, they're up here, and there's a node you can see at the top of the nose there that they attach to. So that's the forward RCS tanks. When coming back down, probably uh, you should have very little fuel overall. And because otherwise it'll be tail heavy, but you'll need to figure out the balance between the forward RCS and the tail uh, tanks. You, uh, yeah, take a look at that in the SPH to see where the center mass and center lift are going to be. Then the carrier craft has an extra fuel tank filling it. Uh, I will change the Shinkansen sometime to make this all a little bit better. Because, like I said, it's an old model, but the carrier plane has this tank, and it goes on the bottom node there. See, there's a bottom node down there. That's where this goes. So, it attaches like that, filling the body of the carrier plane. And then there's the cabin mass. This is the actual cabin for the, the main space plane, and that attaches to the same node as the carrier plane's tanks, except... Of course, the space plane does not have that tank. So, yeah, so it goes on that same node. So those are the main parts of the Shinkansen itself. But then, of course, there's the engines and the boosters and such. So the mod actually comes with four different folders in the EDB mods folder. There's a Shinkansen, those six parts. And then there's the engines. First of all, the ED1 set of engines. Uh, the ED1 itself is the OMS engine, and then there's an ED4 folder. The ED4 is the engines 
the main engines, so the five here and the vacuum engines on the tail of the space plane. So the ED4 regular are also on the boosters and all these, and they all burn methane and oxygen. Everything burns methane and oxygen. So the vacuum one has the extendable nozzle. It's fairly heavy uh, considering the thrust it produces. That's one reason why switching it out for a Raptor might be good. The problem is balance. One reason I'm giving you the craft file, there's a lot of reasons to give you the craft file. First of all, attaching the aerodynamic surfaces, all that stuff, including the vertical stabilizers, would be touchy. Um, and you sort of have to get it right. I did a lot of finagling with FAR in the SPH to make sure. It turns out that having this at the same angle as that is the right answer. So that's, uh, uh, with a lot of tweaking and testing, I found that out. The model is just not as good as I would make it now. So again, I might update it and I'll give you guys the updated one if I do. But yeah, so the aerodynamic surfaces is one problem. The other problem is the exact tilt of all the engines actually has to be right. So if you try and put it together yourself, you are going to have problems with that. Now, the craft file though, because of course you'll need things in order to open it. The craft file requires uh, B9 procedural wings. That's what all the wing surfaces are made with. It requires um, real shoots, obviously, but that's a realism overhaul requirement. It requires B9, uh, sorry, not B9, uh, KW Rocketry SRBs because of these little retro rockets. I get those from KW Rocketry. And so the craft file won't open unless you have those. So KW Rocketry SRBs, just the SRB folder is sufficient. And tweak scale is necessary because I used a stock landing gear, and so you need to be able to tweak scale those. Um, KOS is necessary for launching. Okay, so those are the requirements. And textures unlimited is just generally required for the shininess of the engines. Um, for the boosters, we have uh, two important parts. We have the tanks, the ED4 booster tank. That is the tank for the booster, and it does include nominally inflatable floats in theory. Uh, another part, custom part, is this Pac-Man engine encapsulation device for splashdown recovery. Donut style. Donut means that it allows the engine to go through it. Uh, so, Pac-Man, where are you? Well, it's best to just type in Pac-Man. Oh, there's a lot of stuff that comes up with Pac-Man, apparently. Uh, so it's this one. Uh, this one does not have a hole through it. This one does. And that is necessary to close up the boosters like that. So to ensure recovery, we have those. And so that's that whole deal. All right. So I think I've talked about everything, but let's just take it outside, launch it, and maybe I'll remember something. Obviously, uh, this all requires very particular action groups. That's why I'm giving you the craft file. So the there are action groups for the various engines on the carrot plane so that it can shut down. I decided to make an action group for the separation of the carrier plane so that uh, just in case it has the problem with staging, uh, that would be fine. And so I'm going to open terminal, make sure to open the terminal, the KOS terminal for the space plane and not the carrier plane, otherwise the wrong side will have the script. Uh, I always start on archive. Uh, that's a setting you can do in the difficulty. Make sure you're on archive, it's easier. And uh, I'll the way I'll give you the script is as a text file. And I just copy and paste it in. Okay, so run Shinkansen and let's see if anything goes wrong. Again, this is not the install that I normally do things in. This is a bare bones install. It does tend to this side for a little bit. If you can manage to tweak it any better, that's great. I don't have KS3P or Planet Shine or anything like that in here right now. So there's a lot that isn't going on in this install. Not even the best RSS textures. 
So we're passed through the speed of sound, it's throttled down a little bit through dynamic pressure. Okay, off go the boosters. And sometimes they explode. Obviously the flotation devices assume that they're gonna end up over water. <laughs> Not too sure that's the case. Okay, uh, first set of engines off. Of course I did all this during the space plane introduction video, if you will. And again, the carrier plane is feeding into the space plane until right there. And off it goes. It does still have a little bit of RCS fuel to control itself, but not a whole lot. Another thing Action Group is of course the nozzle extension and the fact that there's a mode switch. There are two modes on the engine. One is... Oh, it did not switch engine mode. Whoops. Okay, we'll have to fix that. So we might be a little bit shorter of Delta V than we were supposed to be. Okay, so even though we didn't switch the engine mode on these to the more efficient uh, numbers at the right time, we still end up with 333 meters per second in orbit, but we can get better if we make sure that we do that. Let me uh, go to the VAB quickly and take a look at that for you. Okay, so what we want is Action Group 1 has the nozzle extension. Obviously, it should have the switch engine mode thing as well. Um, that shuts down the engine, engine uh, number five. So, um, yeah, switch engine mode. Engine mode two is the one with 373 second ISP. It's only 343 for mode one, which all the other engines will be stuck on. Go so here. These sea level ones only have that one mode. And other action groups, we have the separation of the carrier plane on action group four. So that just shuts down the uh, vacuum engines. This shuts down um, the center engine on the carrier plane. This is the toggling of the OMS engines. This uh, toggles the middle engines on the carrier plane and this toggles the outer engines on the carrier plane. All right. So there you have it. I'll make sure that the craft file has the action group for the vacuum engines proper and good luck <laughs> with that thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time